Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and I'm going to do a little set of videos here, probably be more than one, I think, um, that show you how we put together an invoice here at Redefine Horizons. So, it's a pretty boring topic, I know, but I've got some people that need to learn how to do that, and, uh, you know, even though it's a boring topic, billing's really important for a couple of reasons. One is, you know, that's how you keep the lights on. Uh, so, so billing's important because uh, you need to send bills to get paid. And the other reason billing's really important is, uh, you know, nobody likes getting a bill. And so, when you do send a bill to a client, you want to make sure that you're communicating clearly and that they understand what they're being billed for and what they're paying for. So, one of the largest sources of problems, potential problems with clients, is uh, bills that aren't clear or bills that double bill or. You know, and you understand that. You don't want to double pay for stuff when you're paying a bill. And, uh, you know, nobody likes getting a cryptic bill. So, uh, we want to make sure that the bills that we put together are clear and and not confusing. Um, and, you know, visually attractive to the extent possible. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to put together an invoice on one of our projects here. And then, uh, you know, if we have time, we'll maybe we'll get into this spreadsheet here that shows a little bit about invoice tracking. All right, so <clears throat> I'm in my job folder here, and we've got a billing folder. So when you're going to put together a bill, you need to be in the building, billing folder, and you need to be in the contract admin folder. The reason you come in the contract admin folder is, is you need to look at the uh, proposal and or contract to make sure that you're uh, billing the right budget amounts. So we don't want to bill over our budget without the client's permission. So... We're going to start in the billing folder here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and open up. Now, in this in this case, it's a little it's a little complicated because I'm actually uh, I'm actually working as a sub consultant uh, for another company. So we're we're going to bill them, bill my client PLS, and then the client bills the actual project owner. But because we're just provide awesome, excellent customer service here. Um, we actually do both invoices, so we're going to prepare the invoice that goes to the client and our invoice to the sub uh, to the consultant that we're a sub consultant to, and that'll make sense here in a minute. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the uh, the RH invoices folder. Okay, so we've got the first invoice here, one thousand. That's always the deposit. So I'm going to just slide that in a folder. And then we've got our first invoice here that we sent back on November 1st. So I'm going to put that in a folder too. Okay. And so the very first thing we should do when we come in here, so this is how it should look when we come in, is that we should make a new folder for today's invoice, which is December 20th. And today is the 29th. Sorry, I actually don't do the date. I do. This is going to be the first invoice in January, so it gets zero zero one. Okay. All right. Let me turn off Slack because my ex teammates are blowing up my Slack here. All right. Sorry about that, guys. My former teammates busting my chops on Slack there. So, if it's the very first invoice, you go into the templates folder. <laughs> and the billing to get the template but because this is an existing job we just want to go ahead and uh, we're just going to copy the last invoice because it, it already has all the information the owner information and everything that we need so we are going to come down here and copy all this all right okay and then the very first thing we want to do is we want to make sure we update the invoice number we can actually delete these PDFs and I'll explain why we have two files here in a minute I keep putting the date in there just out of habit
Okay, so the reason we have two is because this is a lump sum job. So I have a lump sum invoice, but on a lot of my lump sum jobs, I'll have one or two T&M tasks for things like coordination or public agency review because those are those are hard to estimate ahead of time. So uh, that's what that's what this is, and we might have a little T&M time that needs to go on this one. So I'm going to leave it for now. If we don't need it, we'll delete it. So let's go ahead and open up our main invoice here. And I put together my invoices in Inkscape. Could use Adobe Illustrator. Some guys use Word. Uh, I just use Inkscape because I think we have we have the best looking invoices you've ever seen from a real estate consulting company, survey company. So uh, and you're gonna, I think they look nice. So you're gonna see here in a minute when this fires up. My face now, but the sound quality will be a little better. All right, so we've got this invoice up now in Inkscape. So, you know, first thing we're going to do, we're going to come down here and we're going to update the invoice number. So, this is going to be 29 or 2020 01 001. So, first invoice for uh, January. Okay. And none of this changes. This is all the same. Okay, so then right down here we have description of items, okay, and this is lump sum. So this is important. This is where you need to have your contract. So I actually have uh, only have two phases that we're going to bill here. So uh, we're actually on task seven and task eight. So let's go ahead and update these. So and we don't provide a, a bunch of detail here because this is lump sum. So. For the T&M task, we ha we'll have a detail sheet, but we don't for the lump sum. That's one of the, the beautiful things about lump sum. And I need to do some need to do some training videos that talk about the differences there. So task eight is, oh, you know what? Actually, task seven was first, sorry. So task, task seven is lot line adjustment application. Okay, and then we got task eight is uh, utility mark and locate utility mapping okay and then we're not going to have another tab lump sum task on this so we're going to delete those okay and then of course when I delete something like that I need to move everything up so we'll move that up Okay, so the lot line adjustment application. So this is where you need to go in and check your contract. Okay. So I've got a example. Nope, I thought I did. Let's go look at. Uh, let's get our fees for these two. Okay. So we're going to go in, and we're going to go into instead of billing, we're going to drop down to contract admin, and we want the proposal docs for PLS. Okay, so we're going to open up the scope of services here and see how much we had in for the lot line adjustment. Okay, so here's our scope to Tom, our client. And, oh, I forgot that was an extra. So we thought we were going to do a parcel map and we ended up doing a, we ended up doing a lot line adjustment. Let me go open that scope. All right, so we got $7,200 in here. Okay, so now this is done. We've submitted, but I know we're going to have to respond to some city comments. And I feel like I owe the client some, you know, it's a little tough when you're when you're doing a review like that unless you spell things out with the client ahead of time you know I feel like if there's obvious things that we missed mistakes that we made that they the city wants us to fix that's on us um, if it's extra stuff the city wants you know if they want to show some some more of uh, the off-site utilities or if they're asking for you know I don't know flood zone information that we don't have you know they want a flood zone boundary plotted or something if it's extra stuff because each agency is a little bit different than I don't mind charging the client for that. So I've got $7,200, but I know I'm going to have to respond to some review comments from the agency. 
So I'm going to leave myself 1,200 there, and you'll see we're going to we're going to show the client that we've left some money there uh, in a minute. Okay, and then utility mark and locate. Let's go look at that. So that's under under utility mapping here. We're going to open the scope. So the scope, remember, is the legal document. And uh, here on the last, so this is uh, talk about what we're doing, and then here on the last page, um, this is uh, this is what we're giving the client. Now this is my client's price to the project owner, eighty five hundred. So he actually took care of this task eight B. Okay, so we've got, and we actually need to break this up into eight A and eight B. So let's do that. So I shouldn't have moved. I needed my other bullet, didn't I? So we're going to move that down the row. Okay, so then we're going to have task 8A and 8B right here. So 8B, we're going to call utility mark survey. Okay, and so this is going to be. Insert key here. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Let's try this again. You know, it's still there. Did I fix it? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so this is going to be, uh, and same thing again here on this. Yeah, we're pretty close to being done on this, so I'm going to go ahead and fill in the seven. Okay, and then Tom went ahead and surveyed the marks. So we're going to build a 15. Uh, but actually, you know what? I just realized that's all Tom's. That's not ours. So I don't need that in here because Tom Tom's uh, billing the client for that work. Okay, but we still need to change this to 8A so it matches the scope. Okay, so then we have, uh, this is actually supposed to be T and M. Okay, and that doesn't change. All my T and M right now is going under task five. And so we have just a few hours of TNM time on there. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can figure out what that is. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into Tick here real quick. So Tick is my timesheet software. And I'm going to go ahead and pause this while I get logged in and get this timesheet up. All right, guys. So I'm logged into Tick here, and I pulled up this project in uh, in Tick in my timesheet software and I can just see I know who Vanessa's got a half an hour here and she's got 1.9 hours here okay so let me just see I want to make sure that half an hour is in the right spot where'd she put that okay so we've got about two and a half hours so I am not gonna bill my client for two and a half hours of time it's just not enough so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that Okay, so we are not going to have a TNM bill on this week, or on this uh, not this week, this month's invoice. And I got a couple hours back and forth too, but that can get billed next month. So we're just going to delete this because it's not going to apply. Actually, you know what I'm going to do just to make it clear to the client? I'm going to go ahead and leave it on here, and I'm going to just zero it out for them so they can see that we're not billing them anything. Okay, we don't have any materials, reimbursables, or late fees. Okay, we applied half the deposit last time. We are going to do that again. I'm going to apply the other half of their deposit. Okay, so let's figure out what our uh, what our total is. So we got to do a little bit of math here. So 
We've got 13 grand that we're billing. Okay, minus the 325, so it's going to be 9750. Thirteen. Okay, and then we give them the credit of the three two five, which leaves them with a total down here of nine seven fifty. Okay, and we're gonna say, hey, when we'd like to pay, when would we like to get this paid? Because if you don't tell your client, they'll pay it whenever they want. <laughs> so. And I'm, I'm pretty good. I usually give the client uh, two to four weeks. So today's the 29th. I'm going to tell them, hey, it'd be great if we could be, get paid by the 17th of February. And I usually always make that on Monday. Okay. So that's it. We're going to go ahead and zoom to the page. Save it. And then we'll save it as a PDF. We'll make sure this gets a check before we're done. Yep, I lost myself. There it is. All right, so, sorry guys, let me slide this out of the way. So then let's go see how that looks as a PDF. Okay, so that's how it looks as a PDF. Nice and crisp and clean. Okay, we don't, uh, we're not gonna need this TNM details because I'm not billing the client any TNM on this invoice, so we can just delete that. Okay, the other thing I like to give my client though is I like to give them a a budget summary, so kind of a snapshot of where we're at on the budget for the project every time I send them an invoice. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video, and then in the next video, we're going to go ahead and do that budget summary for this job. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.